Hey guys, what's up? Chris here for Beer Geek Nation. Um, I wanted to do a quick video for you guys. Today I'm going to be bottling a homebrew of mine. It's a Russian Imperial Stout that was aged in a Jim Bean barrel for six months. Um, it's in a keg currently. I force carbonated it. And you can see right here. It's that guy. And the reason I'm going to do this is I'm going to show you guys how to use this fancy thing. This is the uh, Blickman beer gun. Basically, it's a counter pressure filler. Um, works like a freaking charm. I just wanted to show you guys how good it actually does work. <clears throat> the way that it works, um, this right here is CO2. Comes out of there. You do need a dual gauge regulator. I believe you can do it with one. Um, you need at least a splitter on there. So CO2 goes into the gun. And the other CO2 goes into the keg and you're going to keep it real low between 2 and 5 PSI. Then the beer from here, the beer comes obviously out of the keg, into the gun, and out the tip. And you pull it, the trigger like that, CO2 button is right there. And what you do, and I'll show you guys the process here, but basically you're going to take a bottle, um, purge it with CO2 for 3 to 4 seconds, fill it with the beer and then at the top of the bottle you're going to put a co2 blanket on top of it or force any o2 that's in there out of it so you're going to have an oxygen free beer um, a lot of breweries actually use this beer gun it works really nicely but basically how i do it i don't bottle all that often i'm not going to lie to you um, this is the first time in probably a, a, over a year um, but i basically get a basin uh, and i gotta thank jeff jeff friend Jeff for all these bottles. Sanitizer in here. I do six at a time. This is like a Tupperware like cake thing. Um, I get these at work. They're like absorbent pads. They have uh, film in the back so nothing goes through them. Put the bottle in here. Fill it here. Bottle caps and sanitizer there. This is what I'm going to stick the beer gun into when I'm not using it. Capper obviously. And back there more absorbent pads where I'm going to put the, the bottles when they're done. Um, I've got two cases here. I'm thinking I might need some more, so I have some 22 ounce bottles I can uh, break into if need be. But let me get started and show you guys how this works. Dump the bottle out. CO2 for three seconds. Beer. All right, guys, so the final product. Um, exactly two cases and one bomber. Kind of panicked a little bit. Ran out of uh, bottles. So I grabbed two of my 22 ounces that I have just sitting back in the cellar. Empties, obviously. Pulled the <laughs> labels off real quick and sanitized them. Um, and I also learned a lesson. I was going to put the rest of it in this brewery. It's a 750 milliliter bottle. I'm like, oh, they, they use caps. Their caps are bigger, is that focusing? Those caps are bigger than regular crowns, so they don't fit. So, lesson learned. Um, I had this thing filled, I had to dump it over into that 22 to put a cap on, I was kind of a mess. But all in all, this is about an hour's worth of work. Um, the beer gun works like a charm. Um, if you've, once you use it the first time and you get the, how, how it actually works, it works great. Um, and you'd be able to get your own system down it. You can fly through these things, but all the carbonation looks good. I opened one already. Um, one thing I forgot, you're going to want to have a beer when you do this. Uh, just, you know, just cause, um, keg is empty. CO2 tank. You actually don't go through as much CO2 as you think you would. You really use hardly any CO2. Um, it just seems like you use a lot, but you actually don't use a lot at all. This tank is over a year old. I've done, Oh, I don't know. I've carbonated probably 15 to 20 kegs with it, and I've done at least two batches with the beer gun over a year, year and a half. So it's still like half full. Um, but that's it, guys. Blickman beer gun, I highly recommend it. There are cheaper alternatives. 
Um, this thing with the kit, you know, with all the hosing and everything, it's gonna run you about, I think it's about a hundred bucks total now. I could be wrong, could be a little bit less, but I got this a couple years ago. There's like a $4 <laughs> kind of ghetto version you can do with this that works just as good. Um, and I have used that, but that's it. Looking beer gun, perpetual darkness, imperial stout, bourbon aged uh, bottle. All right, guys, cheers.